This short training video demonstrates PeopleSoft procurement card approval. In today's video, I will explain or demonstrate the following. What is PeopleSoft procurement card? Procurement card approval overview. Approving from email or work list. Sending back an expense report. Using the approved transactions page. What is PeopleSoft Procurement Card? It's a new process for automatically interfacing all procurement card transactions directly into PeopleSoft, allocating these transactions to the appropriate accounting, reconciling the transactions to receipts, and electronically approving the transactions in the PeopleSoft Expenses module. Let's review some key features of procurement card approval. Procurement card transactions are interfaced from Visa via Bank of America each day. These transactions are consolidated into a procurement card expense report, which looks similar to a travel expense report. We are encouraging expense reports to match the cardholder's monthly statement. Also, the preparer is responsible for ensuring the expense report includes the correct transactions, has appropriate backup, such as the statement and receipts, and has been accurately allocated to the correct general ledger accounting chart fields. When the preparer has completed these activities, they will submit the procurement card expense report for approval. The system will be configured with two possible process options for your department. One option is each expense report may be entered by the liaison and then it will be routed to the cardholder for approval. The other option, your department may want more cardholder involvement in the process. For example, your department may require the cardholder to enter the expense report instead of the liaison. If so, the expense report will route to the liaison for a completeness review approval. Each expense report is then routed to the department head for approval. We are configuring the approver as the same person that is currently approving with the visa verification process. You as an approver are responsible for approving the expense report and verifying it represents the statement, has attached receipts and backup, and is allocated to the correct accounting distribution. The first part of the demonstration will cover the following email and work list with an explanation, reviewing the cardholder name, the business purpose, and the expense report description, attachments, receipts, and statement, expense details and related content, my wallet details, and enhanced data. And then we'll cover approval, send back, and hold. When an expense report is submitted for approval, you as the approver will receive an email. The email subject will indicate if the approval is for team card, procurement card, or employee travel. The email subject also will display the cardholder name. Please note, in our training environment, cardholders are named cardholder 1, 2, 3, etc. The email will display information specific to the expense report, such as the cardholder name and total amount. To approve the expense report from the email and open the approval page, click the link at the bottom of the email. Procurement card expense reports may also be opened from the work list. To open the work list, click on the work list link at the top of the page. The work list displays all transactions that have been submitted to you for approval. If you wish, you may want to sort the work list by clicking any column. For example, click the date from column twice to sort the work list in descending order. This will display the most recent work list items first. Click on the work list link to open the procurement card expense report approval page. The cardholder name is displayed at the top left of the page. Please review the business purpose. 
the business purpose identifies the expense report as team card, procurement card, or employee travel. The description displayed below the business purpose should describe the expense report based on your department's requirements. However, we are recommending using something like the fiscal year or the calendar year and then April statement to describe the expense report. The budget status indicates if the expense report has been budget checked. Review the expense report total. This should match the cardholder's monthly statement. And to review the receipts and statement, click the attachments link. The files attached to this expense report are displayed. If the liaison also entered a description, it will be displayed as well, as the name of the liaison and the date they attached the file to the expense report. Click on a file name to open the document. The attachment should open in a separate browser page. If it does not, please ensure that you've turned off pop-up blockers for any page opened from the USC PeopleSoft server. As an approver, you are responsible for ensuring the expense report contains a statement and also includes receipts which provide backup to each transaction on the expense report. These receipts may be batched and scanned together if your department prefers. However, receipts are required for PeopleSoft procurement card expense reports. After reviewing the attachments, click OK. To review the expense details and accounting de details, click the Expense Report Details link. You may scroll down and review each expense report line including the accounting details. Note, accounting details may be reviewed in a grid layout by selecting related content at the top of the page. The related content splits the screen in two parts. You may move the related content by selecting the ellipsis icon in the center of the page. Click and drag. Additional related content, such as viewing the enhanced data, may also be selected. To close the related content, select Close on the gear or settings icon. Return to the Expense Report Summary page to take action on the Expense Report. If the expense report requires correction, enter an explanation of the correction required in the comments section and click the Send Back button. Comments are required for all sendbacks. Clicking Hold permits you as an approver to hold the expense report to prevent another approver in your pool from approving it while you are completing additional analysis or follow-up on the expense report. To approve the expense report, simply click the Approval button. As a procurement card approver, you may want to review and approve expense reports from the Approve Transactions page. The Approve Transactions page is available to approvers and liaisons only. There's a navigation to the Approved Transactions page. It displays all transactions pending your approval. It's a place where you can review each transaction on one page. And you can approve from the approval page or in summary. To open the Approved Transactions page, navigate to Travel and Expenses, Approved Transactions, Approved Transactions. 
All transactions are displayed on the Overview tab. Select the Expense Report tab to review only expense reports. Expand the Search Pending Transactions section to apply search criteria. Expand the Change Sort Order section. Select Date Submitted and Descending to, and then click to sort the list. The list is resorted. The Transactions to Approve displays an alert column indicating an alert to be evaluated. The Transactions to Approve also displays the total amount of the expense report, the budget status, the cardholder's name, the cardholder's employee ID, the description of the expense report, the expense report ID, the date it was submitted, and the status of the expense report. Click on the transaction ID to open the expense report approval page. This report contained exception comments caused by our replicated training data. To review the exception comments, scroll down on the approval page. Click on the exception. Then click on Return to Expense Report. At this point, you could simply click the Approval button to approve the expense report. Click Return to Approval List to return to the Approved Transactions page. Transactions may also be approved in summary from the Approved Transactions page. However, reviewing the backup, allocation, and accuracy of the expense report is required. This concludes the demonstration of the PeopleSoft procurement card approval. For additional information, please review the detailed procedure document on the training website.